this this is a server actually there is one two three four four servers but what is a server and what do they do let's talk about it server is a centralized computer. The difference between a PC and a server is the main difference is the hardware cost. The hardware designed for a server is one to run 24 7 and it's also designed to have less errors occur during runtime. Most servers use ECC memory so in the event the memory module fails or something goes wrong the ninth chip on the ECC memory will do its job and fix the error code before something goes really bad. Another example is when you're using a server, your hard drives need to need to be set in a RAID, which means in the event one of those drives dies or something goes wrong, you can just easily replace it with a new drive, and the whole RAID configuration rebuilds rebuilds itself without losing any of its um data. The hard the actual hardware is also designed so the life of the hardware lasts a lot longer than normal standard PC gear. The purpose of a server is to provides services to the client and other users over the internet or the LAN network. For an example, this could be a website or an email. Um, back, like way back, you would have normally one full physical server for the web server, another server for the email server, and so on and so forth. But now to keep costs low and to save money, we virtualize everything. So I'll show you in this video, because I go through my home servers, but you can virtualize your email server, your website server, all on one physical server, and obviously that reduces the cost of the overall um, budget, you could say. And then obviously with the users connecting to the website to get the website from the host, it's all virtualized, meaning it can be quicker d depending on the hardware you're running on your server. Now, another point is the server proce processes that are um, designed to handle big workloads from the client and the mo motherboard on the server is designed to run with more than one CPU, meaning the server can handle more work quickly and complete tasks very efficiently. And the server OS is also designed to handle lots of connections from users without any problems. Now, on to the PCs. The motherboard is designed for one CPU, as we all know. You cannot put two in there, it, you just can't do that, you, you're not allowed to. They're also not designed for huge workloads over like the network from users and clients, because their OS running on your PC at home, that OS is big enough as for what it does, and it, it's just too much pressure on the system itself to be able to run server-like services with the OS and then clients connecting to it. It just will struggle and probably die. On a good note though, AMD supports ECC memory, as Intel does not. So you can put server memory in your PC if the uh, CPU and motherboard allows it. But on another good note, a PC can be set up as a file server or a media server in your home. So you can just wipe your OS, put a server OS on it, and you can it will act like a server for media files, um, backup files, just files any type of files you have, just set up a share folder over the network and any client with that IP address can connect to it and act like a server. Um, but also that's going to depend on the hardware in your PC with how efficient it runs and how fast it runs. But in my home lab, I've got two servers from PCs and they run great. But um, that's this is just touching the surface of what a server is and what it does. But for a person who's beginning in IT, and understanding network and servers. This video is a good start to understand what it actually does and how they work. So thanks for watching guys. My name's AJ and see you in the next video.